The book tells the story of one of the most capped players in recent times for a national women's football team. And if you think it's all about football, well, you're in for surprise. So more or less with the book, you'll get like a mini bio of myself. But then I went ahead and had some provocative um, topics, such as whether leaders are born or made, and type right back into the topic, which is woman of substance. She says the book also highlights the importance of learning from your peers and the struggles they faced, such as those suffered by the United States women's national team in their quest for equal pay. Why I tie back in Jamaica and the U.S. is that the U.S. has been very successful, but they went through gender bias um, in some instances. But at the end of the day, it still didn't deter them. So yes, I am just pulling them as a reference, but also to help you know build the story around why people should or women in general should get up and, and not settle. The book also speaks about Forbes and her teammates and how they were able to overcome the disappointment of missing out on World Cup qualifying in 2017. That is one of my most memorable moments with the national team because it will have a um, topic on positive and, and you know, challenging moments with the national team, but still all tie back into, again, you know, my journey as a person. Karen and her teammates are presently in the Dominican Republic for two international friendlies ahead of World Cup qualifying. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.